have a very interesting piece of running gear that I would like to discuss with you today. That's right, it's the Nike Pegasus 39. Were you like expecting something else? <laughs> you know, the truth is you don't have to have the latest and greatest in shoe technology to be able to train. The 39 is going to be the workhorse for this entire summer and fall. Why? Because it's $82. All in, tax, shipping, everything on Nike.com, on HTTPS colon backslash backslash Nike.com. You know, everyone's making videos about the Peg 40s right now and how it's the, the new training shoe, whatever. I've gone in two runs in this already and I can safely say it's nothing special. It truly is just like a very bland, kind of boring running shoe. And I'm sorry, Nike, if you're watching this, my deepest apologies and condolences. <laughs> it's just an everyday trainer. It's for easy runs, it's for recovery, it's for maybe a medium long run. It's just kind of the shoe that is whatever you want it to be. Are you gonna do tempo workouts in it? Are you gonna race a marathon in it? No, but you could get two pairs of this for the price of any regular trainer these days that's brand new, so why not get it for half the price or get two of them for the same price? You know, sometimes you just don't need something special to be able to log a ton of miles, and that's what I'm doing in this case. I'm also gonna probably do this for the Triumph series with Saucony and a bunch of my other daily trainer shoes going into the fall and winter. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not a shoe hater. I know that all the advances in shoe technology have been pivotal into people finding more success in running faster marathons, training better, having better recovery, all that good stuff. I'm not discrediting that. All I'm saying is, don't get caught up in the gimmicks of needing the latest and the greatest all the time. I'm a photographer and filmmaker, and this is a common issue in that space as well. Always needing a new camera, always needing the new gear. It's not always necessary. There's still plenty of amazing options of shoe tech that's just a year old and it's virtually half the price. Now, if you're a dad like me, or if you have the same dad energy as I do, you probably know where to go for discounts on shoes. So help me out, help everybody else out here. Leave some comments down below on where to get discount shoes, last year's models, even two years old, what prices are looking good in different places. Leave it down in the comments. Let me know, let everybody else know. Now you might be wondering, Floberg, what's next? I'm racing five different races this summer, one a month, and I'm gonna talk about them when I get back to the studio at the end of this video. But I've just been base training again, laying that foundation, getting back to mileage, getting that mileage up, getting up to 50 mile weeks. Just ran a 50 mile week in the middle of another 50 mile week. And then the training block begins, a full 18 week block to Chicago, where the goal is gonna be between 240 and 242 for the marathon. I'm terribly sorry about the irony of me saying I have a dead attitude of saving money while I'm wearing tracksmith shorts. My deepest apologies. Come on though. They're beautiful. That's a terribly awkward shot, never mind. stuff to watch you know when you do the camera shots so people on Strava don't think you're slower than you actually are you know anyways don't fall victim to thinking you have to get the newest latest greatest shoe there's gonna be a lot of voices out there that are like it's gonna improve your performance by 0.0004 percent and you must spend the extra hundred dollars of course not very similar to like I said the photo video world you can still make 
beautiful and meaningful stuff with old cameras, you can still run aggressively and run with your heart and not with just the new shoes on your feet. More than anything, use your mind, change your mentality, and get out there consistently so that you're making strides in your PRs and your goals and not just relying on gear or new technology to be that thing that moves the needle. Okay, rant over. Back to the studio. We're going to announce the next training series for my marathon build to Chicago in October, which I'm very excited about. A whole new series, weekly episodes, all that good stuff, like the spring. In the meantime, I did sign up for two 5,000 meter races on the track with Twilight's, with uh, Tracksmith Twilight series. What's it called? With Tracksmith's uh, Twilight runs? Twilight races? Twi Twilight. Track, track Night Twilight. I was trying to think of something to say uh, from the Twilight series. Edward. Ah, the sun. <laughs> so I'll be running two 5,000 meter uh, races on the track. One will be in late June and then one will be in August. And that's gonna be at Montrose Track in Chicago. So if you are in Chicago, around Chicago, wanna come to that event, you can come say hi. I'd love to meet you. Uh, I'm also doing a 10K race over by Soldier Field in Chicago in July. It's the Big Ten 10K. And then I'm doing a half marathon in, I believe the town is Flossmoor. That's called the Hidden Gem Half in September. That's gonna be my tune-up race before Chicago. Hopefully cracking that 118, that goal that I set for myself, the sub 118 and a half. Yeah, then we'll be racing Chicago four weeks later on the second weekend of October. So those are all the things I'm signed up for. Hopefully you can make it out to some of those events. We can say hi, we can shake hands, fist bump, um, hug. If you, if you want to. Thank you so much for your response to the last video we made. Really cool to see how many people enjoyed watching my story of six years of trying marathoning. We crossed 10,000 subs and it's just been exploding and I'm just really thankful for you all. If you like this channel and want to share it with some of your running friends, please do that. And uh, we'll see you the next time Flover Grins. It's so fun when there's two cameras set up. Thanks guys. <laughs> okay, bye. There's a strange, I see it.